Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Canon's 5D series of cameras has a rich heritage, the original EOS 5D bought full-frame photography to the masses, the Mark II unleashed full HD video capture for the first time on a DSLR, and while the Mark III didn't have quite the landmark features of its predecessors, its improved of system made it one of the most complete DSLRs of recent times, loved by enthusiasts and pros alike. Features Full-frame CMOS sensor, 30.4 MP 3.2-inch touchscreen, 1,620,000 dots DCI 4K video capture The 5D Mark IV is also using the same latest generation sensor technology that we've seen in both the 1DX Mark II and 80D, with on-chip digital to analog conversion, which should deliver improved noise performance as well as broader dynamic range. That's not the whole story as far as image quality goes though, with the arrival of dual pixel raw technology giving photographers the capacity to fine tune the area of maximum sharpness. With each pixel made up of two photodiodes, it allows for the creation of a file which contains a pair of images with two very slightly different focus points. You can then open the file in Canon's Digital Photo Professional software, and use image micro adjustment to shift the focus ever so slightly, not massively, but Canon believes there's the potential to rescue some shots using this technology. Canon created its own micro industry when the 5D Mark II came along with full HD video, but the video landscape has changed quite a bit since then, with the likes of Sony and Panasonic getting their act together in this area, so it's no surprise to see Canon fighting back here with the inclusion of 4K video. To be more precise, the 5D Mark IV features DCI 4K video capture at 4096 by 2160 pixels, at 30-25-24 fps, a prox 500 mbps. This also means you can extract 8.8 MP JPEG images from 4K video if needed, thanks to the motion JPEG file format available for 4K capture. This is the only file format available when shooting 4K however, while there's no option to shoot in a flat gamma profile. Things do get better at 1080p, with a host of full HD options, as well as the ability to shoot 120fps HD video for some impressive slow-mo movies. The 5D Mark IV has external microphone and headphone ports, as well as HDMI mini out and USB 3.0 terminals. Finally, the 5D Mark IV sports dual SD and compact flash card slots accepting fast HUDMA 7 cards, and features both Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity for transferring images to a compatible device, and that's not forgetting the built-in GPS unit. Build and Handling Magnesium Alloy on Polycarbonate Construction Dust and Weather Sealed Weighs 800 grams at first glance the 5D Mark IV bears a striking resemblance to the outgoing Mark III, and for that matter the 5DS and 5DSR, and there's a simple reason for that. In a nutshell, Canon doesn't want existing 5D users to have to, as they say, or learn the new camera, and so aims to keep the transition as hassle-free as possible. That said, there have been numerous tweaks and refinements to the body. The hand grip has been enlarged for starters, providing an even more satisfying hold when you pick the camera up, while the pentaprism now stands slightly taller to accommodate the GPS unit. Image Quality ISO 132,000, expandable to 50 to 102,400, H2 Built-in low-pass filter Plus slash 5 of exposure compensation in one third or half stop increments. It's no surprise to find that the results from the new 30.4 MP sensor display excellent levels of detail, not quite as much as the staggering files from the 5DS, but still very good indeed. You should have no problems producing richly detailed prints as Super A3, while A2 prints and beyond are a realistic proposition, that's not forgetting the ability to tightly crop images if needed. With the increase in resolution over the 5D Mark III, there is the worry that results will display more noise, 
especially in the upper reaches of the sensitivity range, but we're pleased to report that high ISO performance is very good. Results at ISO 800 still appear noise-free in our sample images, while even at ISO 2000 results are very impressive. There are some signs of luminance noise, but it looks very organic, while there's no evidence of chroma, color, noise. In our sample shot at ISO 10, all chroma noise is noticeable, along with more pronounced luminance noise, although it was possible to reduce this in raw files using Canon's DPP software.